remember him muttering all this stuff about lights and ships, and I, I thought it was just Roy being Roy. And then I turned on the TV today and heard his insane theory. I wouldn't call it insane. Would you ever let him go? I tried everything I could to get him to take his meds. I would even pick them up at the pharmacy for him and bring them to him directly. Man, he's going to hear it at the office on Monday. Actually, your firm just suspended him until he completes a month's stay in a mental health facility. Wow. Who's, who's going to get all his cases? <laughs> We're available. Isn't that right, Mr. Spencer? Gus here is a whiz at LegalZoom. My cousin has a personal injury law firm called Accidentes. Heard of it? No, I haven't. You will. You will. Good work, people. Pop a bear. <laughs> you know, Gus, I really don't appreciate being snickered at. Never again are we investigating something related to one of our childhood obsessions. Well, what if there's a Pop Rocks murder? That is the exception. Excuse me, Spencer. Quick question. How does it feel to be so wrong that you are now a walking joke? Just like you, minus the kind boots and the soft eyes. <laughs> wow, this is, this is really a big moment for me. I, I may even do a little dance. Oh, yes, I will. No, he doesn't. All right, that's it, Gus. We are going to find out what really happened, and we are going to clear our good names. Let me ask you something. If you were up and coming at a law firm and you were abducted by aliens... Because that happens. Would you tell anyone? I know I wouldn't, because they would think I was nuts. Like I do right now. That dude was not abducted, Gus. Okay, well, you have three seconds to come up with a better theory to explain all this weirdness. All right. Three, two, one, bzzz. That's my trick. How do you explain the radar, the recording, the indentation on the lawn? Let me tell you, it was a plane on the radar. Someone cranking Yanni on the recorder, and the indentation could have been a million things. Sean, how do you explain the three strange markings on Toby's arm? You saw those? Of course I did, and I didn't have to do this. Are you mocking my it's a clue face? Yep. Do it again. I don't look like that. Yes, you do. You're a bastard. Sean, you know that abductees often have strange markings on their skin. So do I when I don't use enough sunscreen. Oh, come here. Stand still and let me flick your ear. He was abducted, Sean. Was not. Yes, he was. No, he was. Yes, he was. Was not. Yes, he was. Wasn't. Yes, he was. Wasn't. Infinity. Yes, if you're gonna act like a child about this, then we're gonna have to bring in a third party to settle this disagreement. Fine. Who? He was definitely abducted. The markings combined with the other details have me convinced. Why would I tag in a guy with a custom-made Ewok costume? Hey, what's the name of that law firm he works at? Uh, Wilcox Kessler or something. Why? What are you doing? Getting his work address so you can spy on this guy. Look, fellas, you have to see if he's exhibiting the other telltale abduction signs. You know this. Paranoia, the compulsion to travel to unknown areas. Suicidal tendencies. Spewing nonsense with authority. Oh, wait, that's you guys. You mock, but I'm still waiting on a better theory from you. All right. Who's Toby? Why did he just tilt his head and squint? It says I got a clue face. Think about it, Gus. Toby knew he stood to inherit all of Roy's cases if he could just get him out of the way. So he arranged for him to have one of his uh, psychotic episodes. How? I would even pick the meds up from the pharmacy and bring them to him directly. Tampering with his meds. And you know what? It worked like a charm. Roy goes nuts. The next day, Toby's a major player at the firm. Let's go. Where are we going? Well, we're going to take Dennis's advice, do a little spying on our boy. What can I do? You could lend us some sweet disguises. Fellas, just tell me what you need. I have never felt cooler. You've never looked cooler. Dennis is gonna have to pry this helmet off my cold, dead noggin. There's Toby. Dude, he's sweating and shaking. Have you been seeing clues this whole time? Paranoia is one of the telltale signs of an abduction. It's also the sign of a guy with a guilty conscience. Stop saying stupid things. You're disgraced with those glasses. He's booking us! Oh! Hey! Whoa. Oh. He's wandering to unknown areas! The helmet is not made for running! I should have borrowed Charlton Huxley's scarf from Soylent Green! Oh! I can't see out these glasses, Sean. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? We lost him. Son of a... 
Hello? Is this Sean Spencer? Toby? You gotta help me. They're following me. Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. Who's, uh, who's following you? I don't know. I think this is the black dude from Star Trek and some white guy in a ridiculous helmet. Which is your opinion? Where are you? Listen to me. Roy Kessler was telling the truth. I told you, I told you, I told you. Okay. Uh, you need to come meet us. I can't, it's too dangerous. Uh, meet me in an hour in front of the Lansdowne Hotel. Lansdowne, got it. Dude, did you just break Dennis's helmet? Well, it clearly wasn't made for running, Gus. You Was that scarf worth going back to Dennis's? Is Soylent Green, people? Now let's go get this confession out of Toby. You mean admission that he was abducted? Let's start with the non-bat crap angle, shall we? Sean, you heard him say Kessel was telling the truth. Gus, you really put me in a tough spot here, man. You don't think I want to be the guy riffing on how aliens abducted Toby and what they did to him when they brought him on board the mother's ship? They probed him and placed an embryo in his stomach that's gonna hatch out his eardrum in 12 days. I can't do it! Someone has to hold the sanity bag in this partnership, and quite frankly, I miss the days when it used to be you. Sean, <laughs> he's exhibiting all the telltale signs. Paranoia, check. Nervousness, check. No! Oh my gosh. Suicidal tendencies, check. Mm -hmm.